Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Noobs. And this is a very apprehensive Jake. Yeah, we uh, we have an interesting strategy here, how we're going to take on this spider boss in the nude. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Um, I suggested that perhaps instead of getting hit and taking the blows with the heavy armor on and being super slow, that maybe the best strategy is to just try not to get hit at all and dodging in and out, getting little, you know, stick and move tactics. And you're gonna see a lot of quick saving in there because, unfortunately, you know, see, like that one hit, you're basically dead. Ah! Yeah. This is, uh, this is about as abusive of the game as what we are gonna be so far. Um, hopefully, this is about as abusive as we'll ever get, but we'll see. You gotta do what you gotta do to win. Yeah, that shield. Locking doesn't do you. anything. Well, I think it's they spit on, or she spit on you. No, she no? bit me. Oh yeah, poison goes around armor and stuff, so you can't you can't rely on that. So might as well not even have it on there. It's just gonna block my view more than anything. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, watch out. Yeah, you gotta be careful with those. Make sure you're completely hidden back there. Get it away from me! Get it away! Alright, there we go. Oh. This, is, this is gonna be quite the doable here. Oh! Oh, man! This is going to be painful to watch right now. Yeah. Yeah, there's that acid trip. If you beat him then, I'd be so impressed. No, I'm not. Be her, whatever. I I'm not gonna be able to do that. Meh, rooms Vega. No, why did I get stuck on the freaking wall? I felt like a power attack, but maybe not. No, because I moved in and then I tried to move well, to the side. Um, I don't know. I'm stuck right there. Is that? Oh no. And nope, nope, still alive. Just a moment. Oh, there was that moment. It passed. <laughs> There's a moment where we're like, maybe no. Good attack. Good attack. Just need a bunch more of those, and without dying. <laughs> oh. oh man, this this is painful to do. It's painful to watch. I, I won't <laughs> lie. Come on. Not power. Oh, there's the acid trip. This is this is like the dwarven armor guy all over again. Except this is a little worse. Yeah, I agree. Oh, you gotta hit it. Run away. <laughs> you have quite a few attacks you're gonna have to do here. Yeah, and that's with the dwarven weapon or the bow. Or orcish. Whatever. Oh, watch nope, out. No, 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 no. Yeah, nope. don't ever swing until it provokes unless you have a sure shot. No, no, no. God, that is creepy. Yeah, it is. Yep, and that's why you don't swing until it provokes. until it swings. Whoa! Lucky. Oh, it totally psyched you out there. Oh, you're kidding me. Don't let it get me. Huh. That wasn't fair, spider. I wasn't ready. Alright. There we go. Don't let it get me. 
Yeah, when it shoots its venom, that's a good time to go out there and get him. A quick shot, anyway. Alright, go back in there and go in that corner and save it. <laughs> like, honestly, that's what you're gonna have to do. Just that over and over again. Save scumming. We are save scum. scummers to the max. Uh, oh, watch out. Yep. You only have to do that like 20 more times and you got him. Mm hmm. Gross. Skip just like a tiny bit. That was more than a tiny bit. Time to die. You're getting that kind of down though. Just, you know. Oh, there it was. Yep, there it goes. You were doing good, though. You just um, don't get, don't get hit. Get it away from me! Get it away! I think the quintessential skill we've learned in in Skyrim Requiem is that just don't get hit. Like, yeah, that is the like they should have a dodge tree. I guess that's kind of what evasion is. You get those rolls and things. But uh, I feel like every character benefits from dodge, not getting hit. Oh, you don't have time for that trash. Actually, I do. Although it is... They gave it a monochrome of intelligence. Uh, on the range... On the, in the ranged combat, it... Yeah, it's too dang fast. The only way you're going to be able to do it is to like kind of draw the bow now and then go out there when it's halfway drawn so that by the time it fully draws, yeah, that wasn't fully drawn. You, it, it takes like four seconds to draw the bow, fully. That's not fully drawn, you're, you're getting like no power into those things, you're just wasting arrows. That was better, but it still wasn't quite fully drawn. I would, I would just put the bow away. It, it doesn't do that great. Cause you don't have a perk in it. I do. Do you? I thought you. Yeah, I have a perk. Wow, you have a perk and it still takes that long to. Okay. Mercy ships kind of twice. Three uh, times actually. Three times? Oh wow. Might as well save it back there somewhere. Yeah. This is actually working. Yeah, it's doing okay. We got ten more. So once the arrows are spent, I can start working on my dodge and roll. Yeah, well, your stamina is also going down pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah, you, if you can pull back all the way right now, it's going to do it. There you go. He's letting you do it. You're, uh... You're not going to do much damage now, though, with your stamina down. But, like, honestly, oh, you should have stayed right there. I think you were doing... Yeah, I th think I could have stayed right there. Let your stamina regen. We got this. But, honestly, you're going to be out of air as well before he's dead. Yeah, whoa. That was close. Trying to get him in that spot again? Yep, trying to get that sweet spot. There you go. Swing it from here? No. Nah, I didn't think so either, but. Well, you're just gonna sit here wait for the stamina regen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, th this is kind of when you're like, well, I probably really shouldn't be here. This dungeon is a little tough. I mean, I got past the bandits at least. Yeah, the bandits, yeah. And, you know, I, I feel like the, the Draugr are gonna really just, you know. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm going to kill the spider 
I'm gonna do the thing to get the golden claw, and then yeah. I'm going to leave. There is totally a way you can do it, though. <laughs> it's totally cheap, but there's that that tra that trap down there, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's it's really cheap. And I, I wouldn't. Your paladin ways would be too uh, honorable for that. Yeah, I. I don't use that. I don't use the traps like that if I can help it, even in the console games. Yeah, I do in Requiem because it's amazing. What after all of that? You might as well shoot your arrows right now before your stamina goes out. Your stamina's gone. But you're still doing some damage. Um, yeah, that's gonna take a minute. So, one of the perks of being uh, an Argonian in this game. Not having to care about poison so much. 50% resistant? Yeah. Either 50 or 75%. Same thing with diseases. It's 50 or 75, something like that. Yeah, because they come from the marshlands. Yeah. Yeah, but then you have the question, what race makes the best class? Oh, well, that's tough. I, I feel like the races are much more balanced in this game, though. Like, I never had a reason to make an Argonian in the last, in the vanilla. And, uh, and, and several of the other ones, like, Dunmer, like, because really, honestly, in vanilla... It, what would I get for a cure po poison potion? I feel like in vanilla, the only thing you really care about is the daily perks from the race because, like, the or like or passive abilities like the claws from the Khajiit, because all the skill bonus ones, like, who cares? To level them up anyway, and so you just wanted like your daily powers and things, and so you know the powers of the Argonian, like I said, are like poison and disease resistance, which are like, pff, who cares? I have a million cure poison and cure disease po potions and I can go to the temple and get it cured and, and they don't do this acid trip nonsense on you so like I don't know I feel like it was just much easier uh, in vanilla that you didn't really care. If we're going off of vocabulary the console version of Skyrim is the milk drinkers version of Skyrim. Oh well yeah. You're not a milk drinker are you? Not anymore. Well not anymore but <laughs> Oh crap, this poison's gonna kill me. Now you got a potion. Not yeah, but I really don't want to use it till it's run its course, but... It shouldn't make a difference, really. I'm gonna use a yeah. bad one. There we go. What's that? What? Oh, that's, that your, that's your potion. That's your potion. Oh, okay. So that's the good thing. Uh, the spider's health is going up. I could have swore I saw it go up a second ago. Well, just go and attack it anyway. Are you uh, going to save it first? Or? All right. You got this, spider. Watch out for the venom. Yeah. Let some stamina regen there. Go back there and save it again. But yeah, I mean, well, five more arrows, I think you'll have it down to just about dead. Maybe a power attack after that will take it out. I, that's only increasing it. That doesn't really help in this case, I don't know. I never really like the increased potions. Neither do I. They're pretty useless. I'm watching his health, though. Like, I could see maybe popping them at the beginning of a battle and going in, but I don't know. I just never felt like I needed it. Get it away from me! Get it away! Get it away from me! Get it away! Man, he whines a lot. Yeah, 
He really, really does. Ah, kill it! Kill it! Ah, kill it! Kill it! Yeah, no, we, we understand. Ah, know what we're doing it, here. Kill it. You might want to, um... Get back there and quick save it while you have a lot of stamina so you can retry it without waiting. Ooh, boy. He's getting low. You're gonna have to... Oh, you're using your silver arrows. Oh. Um, you might want to load that then. And just use your axe. I don't know, whatever. Because you, you're gonna need those silver arrows later on in the game. I'll tell you that. Yeah, but I kind of need arrows now. It's up to you. You can always get more of them. Silver bars. You can make them. Wait a minute. There's iron arrows up there. Are there? Yeah. We get them. Uh, spider's not gonna regen. At least I don't think too much anyway. Oh look, it just regens on Oh wait. That's because I I know. <laughs> I know. Do you have yeah. yeah I'm I'm yeah, I ran out of steel, so it tried to poison me on my way out. Poison of paralysis. Yeah. I want. Do they ever really curse their morals? The what? Paladins and stuff. Do they ever curse their morals? Sometimes, like, man, I wish I could really get this because it would really <laughs> help in my quest. But it would be stealing things that don't belong to me. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't know. I. I'll tell you. Yeah. God, I can hear them all the way from out here. They're the rats. Well, there's always like dead rats around. Remember the archer? Spiders like, yeah, oh yeah. But like, where to go? She had iron arrows and. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what's going on over here, guys? That's not how I left them. For you. What the? <laughs> what is going on over here? Don't know. Not gonna really question it. There you go. Eight iron. Oh, and some Nord arrows. Nord arrows. Nord arrows are better. Just slightly. Nord arrows are about as good as steel or iron. Uh, not quite in this one. Oh, really? I think Nord arrows are like 56 or something like that, and the steel are like 70 or whatever. I, I can't remember. No, Here, steel feet slapping. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Ground. It's close, but it's not quite steel. Make sure you switch them though before you use them. Oh no. <laughs> yep. How did Frieza put it? <laughs> <laughs> Two, three more. Two, three more. <laughs> no. Until Vegeta. Like a... Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I think it already got you. <laughs> man, you can hear him all the way towards the entrance. I, I gotta say, though, he's... How's he surviving? The spider just doesn't care. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's do this. Back to do battle. Whoop. No. Nope. Wait for your shot. Remember, you can kind of draw it and walk and get out there. That's what I would do. You draw it before you get this close. Get it away from me! Get it away! Yep. Alright. Get back there and save it. He's almost dead. 
He is almost dead. She it. Keep it away from me. Couple more. You can draw back as, as soon as like right here and keep walking. Watch out for a spit. There's that roar. Keep walking. Oh, oh that nice. one went wide. Yep. Too worried about that spit. 50% chance that it broke. <laughs> no, it, it's... Oh man, finally got her. Nice. I mean, you would never use it, but isn't that what you need for the. No, spider venom is what you need for the black and leather. Yeah. That doesn't have anything in it. Yeah. Oh, wait, and this none of this stuff is mine anyway. Yep, not yours. Oh, I wonder if. You might want to save it before you, um. I know. Let this guy down, because, you know, good yeah. chance he'll kill you. <laughs> not like you'd ever do that. Oh, of course not. He'd be so grateful that I freed him. Right. Get me down. Get me down. Get me down. Get me down. You, over here. Yep, and I know where you're at. Like, you don't need to tell me. Help me out of here. Oh, gross. Mm -hmm. Get me down! Get me down! First things first. Now we put all of this stuff back up. Yep, and, uh, and of course, said armor on, save, and let's see what he does. Oh, it didn't take it as long as I thought it would. It it felt like it took as long. Yeah, it felt like it though. It sure Get did. Me down. Get me down. Like what did we do this episode of Skyrim? We killed a spider. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the mark, the story the hall of stories. Like I know how they all fit thrilled. together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe it's your mod. I don't know. Have there. It's just a game. Sweet breath of arcade, thank you. I like how you can just attack him like right in the face and it just cuts the spider webs down. <laughs> it's coming loose. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have felt something else, but okay. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Bandit. Paladin? Samurai Jake? Bandit. You, of course he was. But he was a helpless bandit. Nope. What a douche. Oh. Bandit. Thou oh. shalt not suffer a bandit to live. Oh, is that in your personal holy book? You, you. Yep. Oh, I see how it is. Holier than thou. Yep. I'm a paladin. Oh, I. In, yeah. I would. If I was DMing this game, you would have no no holy powers anymore. <laughs> You, all of your abilities stripped. Yeah, well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't walk too far. Oh, they start already? Yeah, like right here. Like when oh. you when you open that or you go in that door, they'll be coming. Well, then I'd be going. Try them out. I want to see what happens. Just oh. like save or something. I mean, yeah, we, I'd save it back here. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd, we'll see what happens. You might be okay. You might die horribly. Here there be dead things. There's one. Oh man. There, oh, there's another one. Oh, that one has a shot. Oh wow. Yeah, you're so not ever gonna be doing these guys for a while. Like, look at that, you're not even doing anything to them. Nope. Dude. Oh, good luck uh, with that. I oh. think a silver weapon is involved. Yeah, definitely. So, bye bye. Can you make silver weapons? Curiosity. 
uh, shoot him with a silver arrow. I was almost out of there. Yep, you were almost out of there, but nope. What? Oh, yeah. If you, uh, if you do it right, it should happen kind of like how I did a second ago. You see the first one coming, and then the other one will come around first. So, it's, you won't get much of a chance to shoot, so be careful. Elemental weapons. I mean, I imagine if you had some like a, a fire elemental or something like that, it'd, it'd probably um, it'd probably do a lot more. Yeah. Too bad they don't have an enchanter or something that I can talk right. to. Okay. Well, now we're trudging back to town. Well, you got further in the main storyline. Actually, so I, I actually got past the bandit barrier that stopped me before. Yeah. And then I got past the spider that, like, went in my very first episodes. Yep. Yeah. Or in our very first, not, well, my very first playthrough, our very first episodes, that shot the poison and hit me and sent me on the freaking acid trip. Well, let me let me give you. That sounded like a baby. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I, uh, let me give you some inspiration. Um, because I, I was reading on the Reddit forum again about how, like, the, uh, uh basically Bleak Falls Barrows, what level people take it. This guy, he said he took it around level 8 or something like that because he had a silver weapon. Yeah. Uh, and people were freaking out, like, you beat it at level 8? I'm like, that's impossible and whatever, because it's yeah. ridiculous. So, you know, these people are, the people playing are like, oh yeah, you need to be like level, well, in the teens anyway, to be able to do it. And you're, you're getting like halfway through at level five. So, I mean, you still have to fight the hardest part, but hey, mm -hmm. you're doing all right. I got the golden claw. You got the golden claw. Doing good. So you can't give the golden claw back yet. So what happens if you do? You know... I am not terribly sure. I mean, I'm not going to. Not yet. That's a good question. I mean, obviously you need it. Right. I have no idea. Is it possible to even give it back? I, I don't know. I've never given the claw back before I got the stone. Right, because Vanilla Skyrim, no reason to. You just go through there killing everything and you're fine. Huh. Well, yeah, but even like even in Vanilla Skyrim, it's like because I I believe I went through the proper questing like maybe once or twice. Yeah. But it was so long ago since I learned that you could do the whole beatdown of the dude and level up. Oh yeah. Ever since I learned that, I've been starting at starting the Bleak Falls Bear at like level ten at least. Yeah. And by that time, I can just go through everything, get the Golden Claw, go through the Draugr, enter the door, get the Dragonstone, go to White Run, say there's a dragon. He tells me to go get the Dragonstone, and I just hand it to him. Yeah. Well, I do that anyway without leveling up ten times. What the heck what kind of cheating trash is that? I don't know. It's a bunch of trash. Yep. Because trash... Your trash. <laughs> Maybe it's surviving at the moment, but that'll yeah. hopefully change. Where All are right, you going? Well, yeah, where are you going? Oh, I was going to White Run. I got stuff to melt. <laughs> I got stuff to melt. <laughs> yeah. That does sound funny when put, when uh, spoken out loud by another. 
Out of my way. I have stuff to melt. I have very important melting things to do. Uh, and it's raining. Oh, how am I going to melt things? Nope. Nope. Wait a minute, still armor. I'm not using that. Oh, yeah. Not using that either. Uh, serve me well. Now it's serving me as an ingot. Yeah. Make some steel arrows if you had a some lumber. I think I can fix that. Got a lot of iron steel bars. Yep. Got a torch for some reason. Always good, I guess. Except you have a lantern. Well, yeah, but I guess if I'm like, if I happen to run out of oil because I forget to buy some. Yeah. But let me uh, chop a piece of wood or two. Yeah, chop some wood. I don't remember how much wood it takes. It's not very much. Like maybe one piece of wood for five arrows or something like that. Well, so basically, after yeah. one go, you'll have like enough for thirty arrows, which is probably all you'll need. So you, remember, they weigh stuff, so you don't want to have too many of them. Yeah, I think I'll stop here. Alright. That was nicely done. Oh, right there. Now I'll go get the steel ingots. Make some steel arrows. I always like the effects of rain and snow and stuff in games as well. Even though, strangely, I don't really like the effects of snow and rain in real life. But, <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird no, thing. No, we're using the Don't blacksmith. attack the forge. <laughs> I was going to say, we're using the forge, not attacking the forge. Oh, it's... It makes how, six... Wait, twelve of them? Oh, wow. That was way off. That's a lot of them. Dang. Oh, well, you can always make them and put them down somewhere. And have more for later. I feel like that's all you'll ever need in this game. But. What are you thinking? Um, I like the fact you can make a headsman's axe. Yeah, oh yeah. I like that. If I ever make that two-hander, I'm the yeah, guys. You're gonna, definitely gonna make gonna get that. that headsman's axe. Yep. It's it's funny because they have the long sword. Why not the bastard sword? Yeah. Don't know. Ooh, I can make silver stuff. Oh, nice. I can make a silver longsword. I just need two silver ingots. It actually does pretty good damage. Yeah. You'd be alright killing some undead with that thing. Silver sword, silver scimitar. Huh. I only need one silver ingot for a silver sword, but I'd rather a silver longsword. Interesting how the only thing other than a sword that you can make out of silver is a battle staff. The rest of it just... Yeah, silver battle staff is kind of weird anyway. My magic can now hurt undead more. No, no. 
That staff is like smacking them with a staff. It's a pole arm. Really? Yeah. Huh. But you could always uh, enchant the battle staffs. Or staves. Staves. Can you? Yeah. Uh, when you go to Solstheim. Huh. Uh, the, uh, the guy living in a mushroom house can actually... Actually <laughs> has a uh, staff. You know how you have like the crafting table for alchemy and enchantments? He also has a st staff table where you can enchant staffs. Or staves. I really can't say the plural version of that word. Okay, so maybe... I know the, the staves are definitely, at least in a mod I've had, maybe not this one, uh, are used for smacking people around, but maybe they're battles, or ma battle mage staves, I don't know. Don't know. Because mm. I used to have like the Jesus, uh, or Jesus, um, weapons mod, which had an unbelievable amount of weapons in it, and armors, yep. but I don't know if I, if that's what some of these weapons are coming from, or, or what, I kind of lost track these days. Well, I think we're getting pretty good here, I think we're yep. going to be signing off here. Anything else you want to do? Uh, not really, because we still need to... I still need to figure out how I'm going to get over here without having to worry about running into road bandits and animals with rabies. And yeah, well, I think you're just going to take them along the way. So you're just going to have to do it. Just do it. Stop it. <laughs> what? Stop what? I'm you're just saying you're going to have to do it. Yeah, stop that. They know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Stop it. You don't want me to do it? <laughs> Fine! Fine, you suck! <laughs> ah, gosh. Someone out there appreciates me. Uh, I bet. They're not too busy rolling their eyes or face palming. <laughs> really? We're going that. We're, we're stepping down. Really? A few we're pages. going that. We're stepping down. The, you can't even you can't block even me right. Block me right. Shut up. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, where, not, where, where is the poor listeners are like? <laughs> these guys are morons. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? I thought we were watching Skyrim, not kindergarten. Yeah. Uh oh. What? Are your lock picks? <laughs> what are you looking for? Lock picks. Cause I have lock picks. I would yeah. like to put them with the rest of them. Oh no! Right there, right there. Oh. No, no, uh, just a tile of the. Oh man, you lost your lock picks that you'll never use. No. Oh you didn't terrible know that. fate! You have met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Oh well. Not a big deal. And not really, but it would have been nice to keep the pile. Hoarder. Next time on Hoarders, <laughs> we have piles of lockpicks. Dead cats underneath all the steel bars. That was so gross. Anyway. The, uh, I didn't see that. I don't want to see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah there's... That show makes me want to clean my house. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think we're good. I think that's all we got. That's, there that's, they are. Oh, wow. How did you find that? That's crazy. Oh. Check it's that. What up? Well, no, that's because I had oh. one, and I was looking for the group of ten to drop with it. Gotcha. Yay, we accomplished another thing. Wow. All right. Yippee. Well, thanks for uh, putting up with us for another episode. <laughs> and uh, we will see you next time when we try to go fight some bandits. Yay! That's going to be fun. Ah, uh, you'll wipe them out. No problem. Alright. Alright. Next time. Later, everybody. <laughs>